Hello, and thanks for joining me on this video to learn how to set up database connections for the program Retail Store Content Builder. The way we start is to go to the Database Connections tab in the program, and we have about five pieces of information that we need to fill out uh, for each store that you want to update with content. The first column that we need to fill in is called Store Code. And this can be anything you want. It just identifies the store so we know which one we're talking about. The second column is called server. And this is the IP address on the internet where your website is hosted. Uh, and the easiest way to find that is to go to your cPanel. Now on cPanel, if you'll scroll down on the left-hand side, you'll see a field called Shared IP Address. You just want to highlight that, right-click and say Copy, and we'll uh, paste that into the server field. The next three columns are Username, Password, and Database Name. Now these are uh, items that you created when you set up your Fresh Store Builder website and created the database that it would use. If you don't have that information, it's easy to find. You can go to your FTP program, make a connection to the place where your web files are hosted, and um, go to that directory where this store is located, and there's a folder called config. If you look inside config, you'll find mysql.php, and you can just view that. Once in that file, we get the three pieces of information we need. We'll get the database name, so I'm going to copy that. I'll post that in, paste that in under database name. The second item is going to be the username that can access that database. We'll paste that in under username. And lastly, we need to get the um, password of that user that can access the database. We'll copy that. We'll paste that in under password. And we have just about everything we need to make our connection. The one last thing that you need to do is uh, you will go to your cPanel and if you'll scroll up and look at the left hand side there's a field called last logon from. That's your workstation's IP address on the internet. You want to copy that and you'll go down to an icon called Remote MySQL and it'll give you a blank. You just paste that number in there and click Add. And that'll allow your workstation to access the database with this program. Once you've uh, got all the information entered for a store, you can click on Test and Select. And it's actually going to make a connection to the database and tell you that it was successful. Click OK there. Uh, so that's all there is really uh, to making a connection to the database. You'll notice under View Website that it's actually also made a connection with a browser inside the program to the administrator area for Fresh Store Builder, so you're ready to log in there. Now if you're like me, you can uh, save this information. Uh, you're going to enter one of these database connection uh, rows for each one of the stores that you have that you want to populate with content. You can put as many uh, stores in this grid as you want. And once you've entered that information, you may want to save it out to a CSV file that you could open with your spreadsheet program. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, it tells me that it was successful in exporting it. Now if I want to, I can uh, import that back. I'm going to choose a different name because I have one with some additional connections in there. Okay, and what it's done is brought back all the connections that I had saved out earlier uh, into that uh, other file name. So what I have here now is uh, what looks like five stores. In reality, of course, these are the same five. Um, this is the same store. 
uh, entered in five different ways. But what I wanted to do is show you that you could have as many stories in here as you want. There's no limitation to uh, how many stories you can use the program on. So thanks for joining me for the video, and I hope it answered all your questions.